I'm joined by uh, Stevenson women's head coach Graham Miller and uh, head coach uh, congratulations on the win yeah, it was, um, you know, it was a tough one, as you can see with the conditions. My hood's blowing around here. Um, you know, that made it difficult, you know, on a, on a flat surface like this, which is fast, and then you add in the wind into that, and, uh, you know, that made life difficult tonight, and I thought I'd give all credit to Alvernia. You know, Alvernia really, you know, worked hard. You know, they're fighting for a playoff spot as well, so, you know, give credit to them. You know, they didn't back down, and I'm just, you know, proud of the girls how we, you know, we, we won at the end of both halves. You know, we kept going, so it was nice that Alex Hamill got our first uh, collegiate goal you know as a freshman and um, you know that kind of put us into half time pretty happy and then we came out second half and you know didn't really play well but you know it's great to get those three goals at the end and we saw that collision uh, between Alexis and uh, the opposing keeper uh, Jessica Plunkett and uh, Tell me, how is Alexa? We saw her out here. She seems to be all right. How's she doing? Yeah, you know, that was a tough one. You know, those two were really, I mean, it was, I was trying to joke with Alexa. Alexis. I was like, I don't think that was 50-50, but um, she, she, she will go after everything. She's got no fear, and that's why, you know, she's a great senior. We're going to miss her next year, but she's doing okay. Um, it might be something like a mild concussion, so we'll just have to evaluate and, and wait till next week. And uh, in this matchup, we did see a tough matchup between the two sides. As the game went on, though, it seemed like your team started to pick up more and more opportunities. Uh, we saw towards the end of that first half with Alex getting her first collegiate goal, and we saw in the second half where the floodgates just seemed to open. Talk about your team continually working to try and get those chances. You know, we always knew, you know, that we were going to be, you know, on the front foot in this game. You know, we knew Alvernia was going to be tough to break down. And, you know, the girls just, you know, they kept going, and that's the good thing. You know, we used a lot of subs tonight, and, uh, you know, the girls, you know, anybody that went in the level stayed, and they just kept going. Like I said, the win made it a little difficult, but the great thing is, you know, we, we won at the end of the, ha the first half, and then we got the three goals at the end of the second half so I'm just proud of the girls for you know for fighting through you know it's been a long week you know we had Arcadia Messiah and now Alvernia in the space of uh, seven actually less than seven days six days and uh, I'm just proud of the effort we give and, and we'll be ready to go again next week and you have uh, two games coming up on the road next week starting up with uh, Lebanon Valley talk about your preparation leading up to that game well, you know, like I said, we just, you know, had three tough games and, you know, in the space of six days. So the goal will be to give them a, a break over the weekend. And then come Monday, it's a new week and uh, two new games. And, you know, we'll take it one game at a time and, and, and we'll be we'll be on the grass next week because uh, LVC is on a grass field. So we'll get ready for them on the grass and prepare for them and, and take it one game at a time. Well, congratulations, Coach, and good luck next week. Thank you. I appreciate it.